Carol's just pointing out this lavender field on the left. Check this out. How gorgeous is that? Possibly won't do my hay fever any good, but uh, yeah, beautiful. Check out this little town nestling in the hill here in the valley. I think it's called Mete. It reminds me a bit of, uh, fun enough, the Cotswolds. It hasn't got the same stone, obviously, but it's that sort of roll, gentle rolling hills. And this road is just absolutely epic. In case you're wondering how we do the nav on these trips, or how I do them, is I'm not a, uh, I'm a bit of a Luddite when it comes to sat navs. I don't spend hours poring over routes and stuff. All I do is look at a part of the map, an old fashioned map that I think looks like it's gonna be a nice place to visit. Check out whether there are any green tinged roads because they tend to be the picturesque ones and aim for them. And then when I'm out on tour, I just put uh, towns that are on those green tinged roads into the sat nav and ride from town to town and that's it. And that way it means you're ultimately flexible. You can change your plan. You can make your route shorter or longer depending on how you're getting on or what the weather's doing. Uh, and it just, uh, I, know, I just like the flexibility and freedom that gives you. So that's how I do it. I know lots of people love pouring over you know route maps and stuff beforehand and putting all the details into their sat navs but for me I'd like to sort of explore as I go a bit and so far it's worked out all right oh so good to be back out on tour on the bike you just get into sort of a way of life a rhythm when you go out on these tours where you sort of uh, well you just live and breathe being on the bike and on the road and uh, I've missed that for so long through Covid, I haven't done one of these for ages. The last one I did I think was uh, a brief one in South Wales on my own on the GS for a few days. But there's something about, uh, you know, coming to foreign climes, although you could argue Wales is foreign climes of course. <laughs> but uh, there's something about coming to another country where they speak a different language, let's put it that way. It just makes it kind of special and a bit of an adventure, even though we're only at this moment in Belgium. Albeit, in a few miles going to cross the border into France. We've got about uh, 15 miles to go to Givet. G-I-V-E-T, which is the little town that Bruce recommended on the northern part of the Ardennes. And well, it's pretty damn good here already, so uh, looking forward to the rest of the day's ride. Well, this road just keeps on giving. It is an absolute cracker, this. Reminds me of uh, my favourite local road near to where I live is one near Tame, and it's only about three miles long. Uh, and I, I travelled to get to it to ride up and down it, because it's nice. This one is just some random road that we picked, again doing that little sat-nav planning method that looked like it was going to be in a nice green area. And it's been an absolute corker, these nice open bends that you can just carve around beautifully. In this beautiful countryside, I mean this is, uh, for me, what biking is all about. These are the best roads. Just beautiful. And look at the traffic. It's a Thursday lunchtime and the road's pretty much deserted. So having said it doesn't have Cotswold Stone, but we just turned off and coming through this little town called Moorville. <laughs> Actually, yeah, okay, it's not Cotswold Stone, but it's not a million miles away, is it? It's, uh, it's got something about it. Anyway, I haven't seen a sign that we're in France yet, but we must be soon. I'll keep an eye out. Right, and we're back in some gorgeous countryside again, just past one of the many twisty road signs. There's another one, look which is always a good indicator when you're on a bike trip. When the camera was off, we had a couple of moments on the mighty Goldwyn, <laughs> some really uh, tight bends on, on a hill and a junction on a busy road. And uh, well, it's the closest yet I've come to dropping it with Carol on the back. So, uh, so that was a bit of fun. Character building, not great on my shoulders, it has to be said, but there we go. That is the trade-off with these big touring bikes. Great on the motorways, lovely and comfortable. But when you do get into some gnarly stuff, that's what sorts out the men from the boys. And I'm not sure I'm a man yet. Anyway, <laughs> we haven't dropped it so far. Fingers crossed. So that's fair enough. Windscreen's got a bit of carnage on it. I'm hoping you can see okay through this camera because I've got the screen on its lowest setting. Uh, if I put it in its upper setting, then presumably you're now looking right the way through it. And although that means it's great wind protection for me, you're going to be looking at all the flies. So uh, anyway, I always get comments about, oh, you need to have a different screen. We haven't got a good view. Sorry about that. At the end of the day, I'm riding a bike. I'm going to have the screen that I want, but uh, there we go. Sorry if it's impairing your view. Hopefully you get the general gist. Well, we've just come through that uh, green and pleasant bit and burst out into this cracking view. Luckily, not a junction on a hill this time, so it shouldn't be a problem. Carol just saying this looks like uh, looking over the Chilterns and the Thames Valley, and I, I agree. It's, uh, yeah, it has a very familiar look about it in a good way still these twisty roads though 
Aha, Givet is on the signs, 12k to Givet. Perhaps it'll be time for a cheeky little coffee stop and regroup. Another cracking little town. Built around the church as ever. It's amazing how church styles vary, isn't it, across the uh, world. They kind of set the tone for a place, I always think. Right, coffee stop soon, I'm hoping. And here we are, passing back. No, we're not. I thought we were about to come into France. I, uh, I saw Ian's hands go up as if in celebration, and it wasn't a France sign after all. He was probably just stretching his arms. Oh, well. Here we are, France. Okay, so welcome back to France, folks. So that's, uh, I've lost count of how many countries in two days. It's been four countries, all but we've done France twice. Anyway, we will get to Luxembourg later. So that'll be four countries in two days. Okay, so here we are in the Ardennes, or Ardennes, avec vue sur l'avenir. No idea what that means, but it sounds good. Région Champagne, Ardennes. Something about that I like the sound of. Now I was talking about churches and their character earlier. Now this is the place on the right here, left sorry. I'm not sure uh, if that actually is a church, but it's certainly an unusual looking thing. got a cross on the top Carol thinks it might be a fort but I don't know interesting oh yeah there's a there's a crucifix with some geezer on it so uh, something Christian wise I guess anyway only 3k now to uh, Givet which looks like it might be down there and we'll find ourselves a little uh, little coffee stop I hope all right here we are excellent thank you Bruce looks like a great recommendation and uh, you can stop wherever you like Ian because it looks like a little place just there with our name on it, look. All right, so we've made it to Givet and our first coffee, tea, coke type stop thing. Cracking ride through. What did you make of that, team? Was Bruce's recommendation good or what? Bruce, you can come around with me anytime. It was good, wasn't it? It was good. Really yeah. nice. Did you, uh, I mean, what do those fields remind you of? Well, I said to Alan, as, as we were talking, I'd go along, saying, World, World War? World War I, was it? Yeah, so, there was some yeah. action in yeah, yeah, yeah. all the fights. Was that memorial on the left we passed? Oh, yeah, 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 there was yeah, actually, exactly. yeah. yeah. We yeah. thought it looked at parts a bit like the Cotswolds, at parts a bit like the Children's. And parts of it looked like we were going into an airfield. <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's good, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's good, wasn't it? yeah it's what do you mean, that, that blocky road we went down? Yeah, yeah, yeah cracking so, there. So if you've got any more suggestions, just please send them and we're quite happy to fold them, put them on sat now. Thank you. And even though we've only been on the road today, like, an hour it's already been better than all of so far isn't it don't want to do it most yeah, ways yeah. don't want to do most ways how about our passenger carol what did you make of it it was gorgeous I loved it it's good, i it? like smelling the fields and you know visor up fields you can smell the trees yeah. early it's summer great, it's great, beautiful it? ah bonjour <laughs> as you gather we are language experts <laughs> splendido merci what did we do? Did you get it right? Merci beaucoup. Let's have a look at your tea bag then. What's it looking? Oh, uh, what's that say? English breakfast, you're in. English breakfast, look at uh, See? That was my French that got you that. Yeah. That was uh, Anglais Petit Déjeuner. <laughs> right, we are off, thank you, Givet. That was an excellent little stop. Top quality uh, cafe that we went to for a coffee. And now we're going to head back into the Ardennes, uh, the French Ardennes, and uh, down to the south for the next hour and hopefully get some more cracking riding on these roads that Bruce recommended. So. Uh, it's going to be a corker. Always looks beautiful by rivers. Up to my right here, there's a citadel with like a fort on it, which I don't think I'm going to get a good view. You know, you can't really sit here, but uh, you can see the escarpment up ahead, and all these fortifications are all part of it. So clearly, this was some sort of military type town at some point. But if you find yourself in the area, definitely worth a little stop. Absolutely stonking these road surfaces. Even the roundabouts are quite fun. You have to lay this beast over somewhat, but it's well capable of it. There's something about this uh, countryside. Beautiful. Well, we've stumbled across yet another lovely little town on the river. Not sure what it's called, but it looks absolutely beautiful. And this is the great thing about uh, France, is that pretty much all these little towns in places that you've not heard of, out the way of the places, 
are all absolutely stunning and lovely places to stop and stay and look round. They've all got historical interest. If this was in England, it would, they would call it Stratford-on-Avon and it would be an amazing tourist attraction, but in France, no fuss. They just get on with it and it's just beautiful. Right, over the bridge. Well, is it two rivers or one with an island perhaps? Well, that's rather splendid. And again, amazing church. The church here reminds me of ones that we saw in Slovenia a couple of years back with Canary Motorcycle Tours. Very similar looking, we might pass it here. There we go, look at that. Or an Austrian spire. Mrs. Flyer thinks it's Gothic-esque. I tend to agree. Great little town though. And the time is now uh, a minute past one in the afternoon and there's no sign yet of that rain that we were promised so uh, keeping everything crossed. It's still, uh, it's still 30 degrees air temperature so it's got thunder written all over it but uh, at the moment the clouds are playing ball, that's probably the kiss of death but uh, it's been a cracking morning's ride in anyway. Right we're through the town and we're back into the forest proper again. This is how I imagined the riding would be, just uh, these lovely open sweepers again surfaces are a little bit more like uh, we get in the UK but no complaints the road is absolutely cracking and still with that uh, pleasing lack of traffic that we never get in the southeast if this was around where we live this would be heaving with traffic it would take all the fun out of it even though we're not riding particularly fast it's still just nice to ride around it without traffic isn't there a pate that comes from the Arden no, I'm just, oh Mrs Fly tells me there is is that the uh, is it the duck one or is it the uh, liver one I'm not sure and is it the course one? whatever it is I like it so Mrs Flyer informs me you can get either coarse or smooth here from the Arden a little local delicacy maybe we can try it out later what a lovely road though look the signs that we all want to see for 6k bendy twisties that's what we like oh well, I can put up with this all day. Uh, even on a push bike, it'd be fun. Not as much fun, it has to be said. Now there are these uh, towns with a church in that looks sort of uh, almost Austrian style. And we're a long way from Austria, so it's interesting. I wonder what the influence is to give them that look. Because it's uh, quite different to others you see in northern France. Again, a, a lovely town. What I notice about all these French towns on other trips I've done in France as well is that there never seems to be any people about. I don't know what they're, maybe they're at work and at school, I don't know, but the shutters are off and down and it's a hot day today, so that makes sense, but uh, you just don't see people on the streets. It's weird. So I have to say, this sort of cedar is pretty much exactly as I imagined the Ardennes to be, and it's, uh, it's not disappointing. It's uh, definitely a place worth making a biking destination, I think. Well, as we sort of have, when we planned this route, we thought, well, we want to do Luxembourg because we've heard there's some good roads there. We'll find out tomorrow if that's the case. I'm sure it is. And we'd like to do a bit of the Ardennes, which we can do en route and on the way back. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it hasn't disappointed. And yet more of these twisty road signs, which is always a good sign. I've no idea how big the Ardennes is in terms of uh, size area, but uh, when it opens out, it's a you know it's a big it's a big old area. You can certainly spend a couple of days riding around here and not do it all. Oh, a car! That's unusual. This has once again turned into an absolutely cracking road. It's a lovely smooth surface. We had a long section of it while I wasn't recording that uh, was all new surface. Absolute pleasure to ride on. Great on the wing. This bike is so stable on these big sweepy corners. She really does lean over a long way as well. It's, uh, it's great fun more fun than a big bike should be. Yet another quaint French Ardennes town. In a little valley now we've got some properly serious hills either side here. Uh, the GoPro will no doubt do its thing and show it is pretty flat but uh, some quite a steep hill I'm going down and some steep old dirt sides to this valley. We might get a view around this corner. Let's have a look. Uh, a little bit of a view. There we go. Look. You get the idea. 
What a beautiful town. What happens here from a giveaway point of view? Thank you. Not sure what the rules were there, but she let us come through. What a corker. Yet another river down the bottom there. A few campers across the side. Looks really lovely. Great spot for camping. Helen has a little camper van. She should drag it down here. Flipping long drive from the Wirral, mind you. Which is where she lives. Anyway. Where are we off to now? Oh, over a bridge again. Always exciting. Why do I get excited about going over bridges? It's, is that ridiculous? Well, what a view. It's not to crash while I'm enjoying it. Lovely. I think Ian's thinking a little coffee stop might be in order and I think he might be right. Right, I need to park the bike up so I can reverse it in somehow. Actually, let's see if Mrs. Fly wants to jump off while I do this, get the stand down. Off we go. Just makes life a bit easier when it comes to manoeuvring. Might as well take up three parking spots, why not? Get a good picture of the bikes here, perhaps. Cool! Well, this is a belting little spot. It might look a little bit grey to you because the thunderclouds are gathering, but it's still 30 degrees here and it's absolutely cooking. But it's absolutely beautiful as well down by the river here. Check this out. The GoPro will no doubt be making it look uh, squashed up, but it's an amazing view down here by the river. Absolutely cracking. Plenty of space to park the old bikes as well. What a winner. So what do we make to the Ardennes then, riding buddies? Beautiful, nice sweeping turns. Cool, wasn't it? Mm. Well, actually it wasn't cool, it was bloody hot, but... It's like going through a big park. Yeah, nice, isn't it? A motorcycling park. Motorcycling park. Oh, Mrs. Very Fly's big. done the goods. Is that it's full fat or...? Coke Zero. Fantastic. Sans sucre. And a little... So that last place we were at that you'd been to before, Givet, yeah. mm -hmm. incoming message from Lamb Chops, he's been there too, turns out. Yeah, yeah. So we reckons. were chatting along and go, we've been here before in the camper yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We came to the spa. So we've all been here before. Oh, spa, what, the shop or the motor racing circuit? <laughs> Fair enough. Well, a cracking little stop at this uh, this place, which we don't actually know the name of, I don't think, but it's very nice. Next up in the sat nav is a place called Bouillon, B-O-U-I-L-L-O-N, which is back in Belgium. So a bit more of the Ardennes to do, and then we're heading our way, Bouillon, heads our way, I don't know what's going on here, to uh, Luxembourg. Anyway, we're going to stop there, maybe probably another coffee and cake stop, I imagine. Right, let's crack on. Right, departing that little... Uh, I call it a coffee stop, but it's actually a, a coke and ice cream stop. But uh, ideal little spot down by the river there. And uh, I'm glad to say we seem to miss the weather. It came over a thundery for a while and uh, nothing happened. And we're now wondering whether we got away with it because uh, it was supposed to start raining, I think, at 10 o'clock this morning. It's now half past two and we haven't had a drop. So uh, I'm not complaining about that. And it's still, well, it's 26 degrees now, so a little bit better than earlier, but uh, still very hot in all the kit. Right, next stop, Bouillon, via a bit more of that splendid Ardennes riding. Uh, I've yet to have the mighty wing in sports mode on this trip. To be honest, if you haven't needed it, normally uh, I use that if I just want to do a cheeky overtake, but uh, there's been nothing to overtake, so no problem at all. This tour mode seems perfectly good. If you're being particularly frugal on the fuel, then you can put it into eco mode, but... Uh, well, as I'm following a uh, new Ducati V4 Multistrada, I have the sense that we're going to be stopping quite a lot for fuel. <laughs> In fact, uh, we could do a stop now, I'm told. So uh, we're going to be on the lookout for a bit of motion lotion, although this doesn't look like the typical place that you might find it. Cracking riding, though. I would show you the views, but uh, I'm having to concentrate on these bends. Lovely down there to the right. Wow, I 
an amazing little uh, verdant plain here with a somewhat stagnant looking river <laughs> but nonetheless it's a beautiful spot some weird art there some sort of art installations wow look at that uh, weed on there oh yeah it's actually a, Carol says it's a weed that's in flower and you can if you look closer you won't see it on the GoPro but yeah there are actually white flower heads on that sort of seaweed stuff isn't that amazing I've never seen that in my life what a, again what a great little place to live absolutely stunning and a few people out now which is maybe it's an afternoon thing they've all had a bit of a lunchtime snooze which would be very civilized and, uh, and then come out and enjoy the sunshine it's beautiful weather again now 25 degrees sunny no sign of the rain that we were expecting we might get away with it for the whole day how good is that more twisty signs that's excellent looks like a Monet painting doesn't it 